Hey guys, welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to install vehicle packs into LSPDFR. So if you uh, follow my other videos in this uh, playlist, it will show you how to get to how we got to this stage. So make sure you have OpenIV installed and Rage Plugin hooked and all those bits and bobs. Okay, so if you open up OpenIV, and then Windows. Wait for that to load up. Now it should look like this. So you've got your OpenIV uh, game directory. All this. So you've got your mods folder. That's what we done last episode. Install this and the mods folder. So if your mods folder doesn't look like this, watch the previous episode and you'll get to this stage. Okay. I'll put it in the card up here if I remember to do. <laughs> I'll put it up in the card in here so you can uh, watch that video before you go, oh no, I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, so uh, make sure you do that. So the first thing you want to install is ELS. So this is a uh, ELS on LSPDFR website. Just type in ELS um, or emergency lighting system. And it'll come up to this. Uh, download the latest version. So click download, agree, and then download the latest one. I already got it downloaded, so I didn't need to do it again. So, Download that one. And while you're at it, download uh, Radiance V as well. This will make your lights bright, brighter than they are. Um, otherwise, it's going to be quite dark if you don't have this, especially if you're using ELS, what we'll be um, installing as well. Well, installing before this one. Okay, so that's those two. So you just click download. Wait for it to load and then download the latest one. That's the best thing, so you don't have any uh, outdated versions or anything. Then pick a vehicle pack. Today I've picked this one. I do love how these vehicles look. Uh, I just think they're amazing how they look. So I'm going to download this uh, pack. So you literally just want to click download and you can download like that. But I'm not going to download it because I've already got it downloaded. So once you've got those three downloaded, that's what they're going to look like. You probably need like some type of. Um, package installer I got WinRAR or you can have 7-zip or whatever just download off that off the website of the internet and then what you want to do first is download ELS so so you want to open up ELS this is what you'll come to if you open up Grand Theft Auto 5 your directory if you want to get that just go back to here copy this one and then you want to Create a uh, shortcut, you know, create it down here, drag it onto your uh, desktop, and you'll get it there. So open this one up, make sure it's called Grand Theft Auto 5, not with anything else, otherwise, it won't work. Like these three here, these are all my old ones. Um, it's my YouTube channel one. So make sure it's actually called that, otherwise, it will not, when you launch it, it won't find this directory, okay? So add this one open, and what you want to do is go to installation files. As you can see, it says Grand Theft Auto 5 here. That's exactly that folder there. So if you open this one, so you're in this folder now. What you want to do, this is pretty simple. Copy all four of these, click, drag, drop. That is how simple ELS is to install. That's ELS done. So now if you can see over here, you can see ELS, see, ELS. And you can see this is exactly the same folder as this. That's ELS done. So now you want to uh, inst now you install Radiance. Uh, click on this one, and then you want to go to vehicle settings, uh, visual settings. Sorry, don't go very bright. That's too bright. I don't use that. Go to bright. Don't worry about that one. And then what you want to do is follow this uh, path. What I'm going to be doing now. You want to go in, obviously make sure it's in your mods folder. Don't use this update one because if for some reason your game keeps crashing all the time and you don't know why, remove your mods folder and then launch your game and if it works and then obviously you know it's your mods folder and then you can just redo your mods folder instead of re-downloading GTA 5 all over again which is depending on your internet connection it takes quite a long time. So go into your mods folder, go to update 
then you want to go to update RPF then you want to go to comment and then you want to go to data as you can see you can see a visual settings dot data here if you look here that's exactly the same there what I advise to do you don't have to do this if you click on this and drag and place it there that is the original one for your Grand Theft Auto 5 files you don't have to do this you can find it in the normal update one so if you go back here you can find it in this version this one this one doesn't get modified so you could technically find it in that but it's easier just to do it this way so if we go back to this path here to what I was on a minute ago with the visual settings you can copy it don't have to it just makes it life simpler if this file messes up you can just drag that one back in and it goes back to exactly the same way it was when you installed Grand Theft Auto 5. So this one here, what you want to do, make sure you're on edit mode, it won't work otherwise. Make sure you're always on edit mode when you're changing something in here. The thing is with OpenIV is that if you um, do a change you cannot revert it so make sure Whenever you make a change, back up your game. So then if you've got anything wrong, you can revert back to that uh, game file and you'll be fine. Okay, just do that um, and you should be all good. So now if you get this one, drag and drop. Make sure, literally just do it in the blank area here, doesn't matter where. If you look at this bit here before I drop it, it says compressed, encrypted. If you drop it, if you watch that, it gets rid of encrypted. That means it's been transferred. Sometimes it don't do that, sometimes it does. Um, it looks like it hasn't done nothing, but it has, it's done that. So now that is Radiance V installed. That's all that done. So you can get that one out of the way. Next one is your vehicle pack. So what you want to do, go back to Quanta 45. So you're back to your directory. Now follow this route, mods folder, update, 64 DLC packs and now here you can see all the day patches patch day sorry all these are all the updates that Grand Theft Auto 5 or well, Rockstar has done these are all where all the new vehicles be put in when you watch this video you might have patch day 21 22 23 24 25 and sexual on and on and on but at the time of making this video it's patch day 21 I recommend not that one because there are so many vehicles they added in that one you might get confused at how many uh, vehicles you've got. I recommend patch day 20 but you can do any one you want it does the same but make sure it's near the end of this list so the higher the number the more it overrides the rest okay. The reason I don't want to do this one is there's so many vehicles in there and you might get confused which one's which. So patch day 20 click on that one then you want to go to DLC and then you want to go to 64, levels, Grand Theft Auto 5, and then vehicles. This is where you install all your vehicles here, okay? The best thing to do, instead of going through that steps every time you want to change your vehicles, you go to uh, favorites, add to favorites, and then if you call it vehicles, and then add, so now every time you open up OpenIV, I'll show you. So if I close that now, open it up, right? And then Windows, you open it up, wait for this to open up. And then you got this. Now you click favorite, so you've got vehicles log. Click that and it skips all those steps, what we just done, and it directs you straight here. I think that is literally the best feature of this. So you don't have to keep going through updates, 64 DLCs and all that. So now, now we're here. Um, open up your any vehicle pack you got, depending even if it is ELS or not. Okay. So you want to open this file, and you can see you got the vehicles file. These are the three vehicles that this person has made, or well, in this folder. So you've got the 2013 Slick Top uh, Tahoe. This is called FBI2. I will explain what these uh, words mean in a minute, okay? And you've got the Police 4 slot for the uh, Mark Charger. And then you've got the Slick Top Charger 
which is FBI. Okay, so these three here are the variables that we um, I'm going to be installing today. The first one is um, FBI two. So FBI two is um, a vehicle slot in the game. Um, this is one of the police vehicles. So when um, if you remember back to when we installed uh, Rage Plugging Hook, and we know when we open the game, you launch, say, like load LSPDFR or whatever. If you put force, um, so if you open up that F4 console and type in F, uh, spawn FBI2, this vehicle here, what we're going to be installed, will spawn that vehicle. So there is all these different um, names for different. Uh, vehicles so you've got police police 2 police 3 and police 4 that's all the ones you got like in the city you see all those police cars in the city and then you got the sheriff and sheriff 2 which is in Blaine County in those areas um, and then you got the FBI and FBI 2 slot this is the FBI 2 slot here these are like the um, SWAT units and that like that and then you got the police T which is the transport vehicle then you got the police uh, B, which is the police bike. Then you got police old one and police old two. Those are the two vero police vehicles, which is in North Yankton. So those are the ones with the snow on it. Those are those, and um, I think that's all the vehicles. There might be a couple more I've missed, but yeah. Anyway, so what you want to do now? Drag and drop this. Uh, make sure you're on edit mode. Yeah. Otherwise, it won't do anything. Copy all those. Drag and drop. That's FBI two. Okay. Next one. Police four. Copy. Drag and drop. It is simple. Copy. Drag and drop. That's those three vehicles installed now. That's those vehicles there. Those three installed. So now, see if like I open FBI two. You can see this is what the vehicle is going to look like inside the game. Don't worry, all wheels be there when you um, install, when you launch the game. It's just in this visual file. It's not. So that's what the vehicle is going to look like in your game. And if you look at Police Four, that's the same. See, you got all the what all the car looks like so that's that and these down here these are all your textures on your vehicle this is the first time I'm opening it so you just get, go back you go to this view it's just simpler to see so look you can see all your dials and that this is all the textures you got in your game you can this bit here if they say oh you can have a blue all blue version or blue and red you can change this one to all blues and then all your lights will be blue okay so that's that and that's pretty much your, your vehicles installed now before you launch the game if you've got an ELS version that's the v, VCF file normally or it says ELS or something like that these you need to install these if you don't um, your vehicle be in game but your lights won't work okay so you need to install this so you can do it two ways you can do it inside the open IV or you can do it in this folder here in your Grand Theft 425 uh, directory here. Does it matter? It does the same thing. Um, for this instance, I'll do it in here. Okay. So go back to GTA 5 here. All right. And then you see the ELS folder. Double click on that one. Don't worry about that one. Click on this one. And this is where you install your ELS files. So copy these three, or copy the ones that you copied the police. Uh, Police cars over in, drag and drop again. That's it. That is your vehicles now installed. So now um, you can close all this, and then so you close all this and do what you want. And then now, as all those three are installed, just launch your game. Launch your game and uh, just wait for the game to load up, and I'll be back with you. Alright, so once you're in game, uh, so now you're in game. So you're playing. So you're playing like you would launch, right? So now, if you press F4, 
and press uh, type in spawn so S SP and then press the tab button it tabs across and then if you type in so the vehicle we installed so let's say police 4 so just type in POL press tab and go down to 4 press tab again and then press enter just wait for it to load and then your vehicle spawns that is your vehicle there right so you just get in the vehicle like you would normally do I haven't got my uh, controller installed, so my driving won't be as good. So, this is an ELS uh, vehicle, right? Right, for this vehicle, as you can see, it's got um, the light bar doesn't work when you press J. So, do this if you have the um, console in, this F3 console. You go down to vehicles and then go to vehicle mods and then go to window tint. Just flick it back and cross. So like use the numbers, number pad, and make sure it says none. Now your vehicle should lights should work. So, so that is ELS. Okay. That is how you install yeah, that's uh, vehicles. So some vehicles, um, when you press the J key, has three stages. So you've got stage one, stage two, and stage three. Well, this one, it goes straight to stage three. Some vehicles do that, some vehicles don't. But this one, it does. It just goes straight to code three, right? So, whoops, I told you I'll be bad driving with a keyboard. Uh, <laughs> so that is, how to install vehicles so you can use the J key to do that or you can press the K next one to it for stage one just stage one you press it again to turn it off on off on off right you can press the um, L key and that does a different stage sometimes on some cars not all cars are the same um, if you press the the op uh, the open bracket below the plus and the minus button that does um, your that keeps your lights on steady if the vehicle lets you do it okay that's that one uh, sometimes the H key does the takedowns but I don't think this vehicle's got takedowns uh, other buttons do what um, on the ELS uh, download page you can find all the uh, con all the controllers all the control buttons and that on there so you can but I didn't mention any just then but that is the main ones so when you're on code 3 lights not stage 1 or 2 has to be stage 3 you can activate your siren with 1, 2 or 3 or 4 or 5 <laughs> so press 1 and it's your first siren and that means it always stays on you, you don't need to press to keep the button down or anything then press number two, and that's stage two. Well, the second siren, stage uh, number three is third, and then number four is the same siren for this t particular siren. And then um, number five, it should just cycle through them on its own automatically. So I'm not pressing no buttons now, it's doing it on its own. Which I think is pretty good if you don't want to keep pressing different buttons when you're driving along. And then number six is your secondary siren. So if I go say stage one and then press six, it does second siren. So number two, it keeps number six second siren on. It's just pretty simple stuff. When you get the hang of it, it's easy. And then press E for the horn, like normal. Yeah. So that is it for um, how to install vehicles. If you found this uh, helpful, please leave a like and uh, comment if you've got any questions or use a link in the description for uh, the Discord link where I can um, help you on there, which is more easier for me than that. Um, other than that, thanks for watching and um, I'll see you in the next tutorial or LS Video 5 video.